Yo guys, what is up? It is F2 Fishing here today, and I'm gonna be doing a video on um, budget conscious um, spawn fishing and pre-spawn fishing. So um, I'm gonna show you guys six things that are that you can get that are not too expensive. Um, you can buy them from different brands in different places for cheaper than what I got them for. Um, I can leave some links, or if you guys ask me, I'll put some. I'll send you guys um, the right way. I'll give you a link to where you can buy them. Um, but this is just like what I would use if I'm on a really tight budget, which I am. So like, cause you know, I don't even have a job yet, so I'm the, I don't really earn much money. But um, we'll go ahead and start off. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking, as in every video, they don't be quiet. So, all right. We're going to start off with a jig, football head jig. Um, I like green pumpkin. This one has a little bit of chartreuse and orange hint in it. It's an Evolution 2 jig. Um, 7 16th ounce, so almost a half ounce. Um, that is a good bait to flip onto a bed. And for a trailer, you can either do... A Z-Man Batwing Z, which I'll show you guys. Basically, it's a, just a chunk trailer. It's like the... I'll stick those two. It's a little trailer. It's going to imitate a craw, kind of. Just rip this little thing in the middle there. Going to get you some nice action on there. Uh, this is green pumpkin and I fish clear water so green pumpkin is what I use you can change up to like black and blue for the jig in the trailers if you're fishing stained water um, the other thing you could throw on the back is a rage tail but what I like to do better with that is use a uh, nice flipping hook um, those hooks are actually probably too big for this, but I'd say three or four up. You can get the Trocar flipping hooks if you want. Um, these things are crazy. They smell, smell like coffee. <laughs> um, this is the watermelon one, I think. Watermelon? Yeah, watermelon color. Um, but you're going to get some nice action off of this thing. It's also got these little side things that you tear apart and they'll get you some extra action um if you're fishing cold water like up north where the water's still going to be cold maybe depending on like what type of um water uh temperatures you have you might want to go to something with a little bit less action on it um but for here the water's warm for the spring generally unless we have a really big cold front so um i like a lot of action on mine um so yeah, you're going to be thrown with these, with some either, I like the Trocar flipping hooks. These aren't Trocar flipping hooks. They're still in my box downstairs, but I figured since I bought these today for my warming and stuff, I'd just throw these in here. Any type of hook works though, uh, just as long as it's a wide gap hook or a flipping hook, it'll be good. Um... If you're like this video, video is all about a uh, budget oriented angler, go with these. I got a 15 pack for three dollars at Walmart and um, Eagle Claw Laser Sharp. These are the super wire um, hooks, um, but you don't need those, you can just get the regular ones if you want. Next bait up is the Z-Man Chatterbait. You can get these for varying prices. I've seen them for $3 online. Um, and I've seen them in stores for about $5. But the great thing about this is that it already comes with a trailer. And it's Z-Man, so it's the Elaztec. So it is uh, very stretchy. And, um, you know, you just take it, you thread it on all the way up like so and you have yourself a trailer wow that was really messily done but yeah these these are one of this is my 
like my go-to pre-spawn lure. Pre-spawn, this is what you want to throw. Even during spawn, this is good, but especially pre-spawn. Um, another thing that you could throw on the trailer for this is um, what I'm about to show you here, which would be my final bait. Slide this thing up and then I'll show you guys. See, so, the one problem with the Z Man Elastec is they do not go onto the bait keepers very well. Anyway, you could throw paddle tails or anything. This is just the one that comes with it. So, if you're budget oriented, you don't gotta buy a trailer. This is what you'll go with. Um, you can do black and blue for stained water. Uh, you can go green pumpkin for clear water or chartreuse with, or white chartreuse with it, which is what I did. Um, I like the white chartreuse more than the green pumpkin. It just works better here for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. So that's what I go with. And for the last thing, which you could throw on for a trailer with that, is the Zoom Super Salty Plus Z Crawl. And the watermelon red is what I have. Green pumpkin works here as well. Um, you can get these pretty cheap. All the Z-Man products are fairly cheap. And this has a lot of action on it. And it's just a nice, um, if you're fishing for fish under a mat or something, say. This is perfect to get through that mat. It'll slide right through. Um, throw this on like a 4 or 5 out hook with um, however big of a weight that you need. And another thing I want to talk about with spawn fishing is you want to throw the lightest weight that you can get away with because just that's pretty much the general rule of thumb for fishing. Throw the lightest weight you can get away with and uh, it'll be good. So these you could throw on the end or a paddle tail or something like that. But um, I'd Texas rig these just like the Rage Shell, which you can get the Bass Pro version of this for much cheaper than this. Um, and that's really all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, like, share the video with your friends if you enjoyed it. Um, go subscribe to Alex Productions. Um, it's my friend's little brother and he just started out a channel, so go subscribe to him. Um, and that's pretty much it. See ya.